Hello, we are back again with another Jacqueline video. Today I am going to try my very best to transform into Jafar from Aladdin. I love Aladdin. Jafar is such an evil character. He makes me so angry when I watch the movie. And yes, I just rewatched the movie before filming this. So I have the movie fresh in my mind for this video. But I'm super excited to try out this Jafar transformation. I tried my best to resemble Jafar, but this is definitely a female Asian looking version of Jafar. So I hope you guys are okay with that because I can't do anything about being Asian or female. So anyways, let's begin. Hello, welcome back to my naked face. So first we're gonna start off by blocking out the eyebrows. I do have a full tutorial, which I will leave in the top right hand corner. Go ahead and click it right now if you don't know how to block your eyebrows. I just use some good old glue stick, concealer and powder, and a little bit of an orange liquid lipstick. So if you want a detailed tutorial on how to fully block your brows, be sure to check out that tutorial because I really went step by step and I went slowly so that you could understand. So that's why we're just going to skip ahead and my brows are going to be magically concealed in three, two, one. Ta-da! This is always a fun and interesting look on its own, so definitely try it out, the no eyebrow look. So now that our brows are gone, the first step I'm gonna do is add foundation, and I am using a shade darker. We want to look a little more tan to match Jafar's complexion. So I'm just gonna use this on a little cosmetic sponge and apply this all over my face and over my eyebrows as well. Um, even though we put a bunch of product there to conceal them and everything, you can still go over it with your foundation. So I am going to go over that area as well and just cover everything on my face. I'm not gonna worry too much about my ears and neck because those will be covered with the costume that we're gonna put on later, so just hang tight for that. So now I'm going to do the eyebrows and I am being ballsy again. I am doing straight black paint on my brows. Normally I like to use a nude eyeliner to kind of sketch it out before I commit to the black paint, but I was just like, you know what, we're just gonna go for it. And I keep looking off to the side because I'm looking at a reference picture of Jafar just to make sure I'm kind of on track with these brows. So they are super arched and because he's a guy, we're gonna make them thicker than I normally do my brows, but they are super arched and I'm making them a little angry in the front like this. So it kind of looks like, kind of like a check mark in the front. <laughs> I feel like Jafar doesn't get much sleep because he's trying to come up with all of his evil plans to take over and have all the power, become sultan and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna give him some dark eyes um, and dark bags because like I said, he doesn't get much sleep. So I am creating the eyelid shape right now with just a brown eyeshadow. And then we're also going to go underneath and create his eye bags. So for the shape, I'm just, again, looking at a reference picture. He does have it slightly angled like this, his eyelid shape, and then um, as well as underneath. I'm kind of just mirroring that top lid shape right under our lower lash line as well. I know we kind of look like a panda right now, but I promise this will all come together. So now I'm gonna take a black eyeliner and I'm actually going to line my eyes and create a wing. I know that sounds so weird, especially because we're creating a guy look, but Jafar actually has wing liner. His whole entire eye, top and bottom, is lined with black eyeliner and it's winged. So he is rocking the wing liner, so that is what we're gonna do. I am creating a pretty thick wing and thick line just to keep that definition, not keep, I should say add, add that definition to our eyes. Now this next part is a little tricky for me just because of the way my eye is shaped and the way the um, inner part of my eye kind of folds, but I am going to extend the liner on the inner corner as well, like the tear duct area, and create a little wing there as well, so it's pointy right there. And that gives us that kind of feline cat eye shape that Jafar has. Going back in with my black face paint, I am going to draw a black line down from my nostril and create his little mustache. So this part is a little tricky because Jafar has such a wide mouth and his little goatee 
mustache thingy. It extends all the way around his mouth, which is so wide. But since my mouth isn't that wide and I wasn't going to create a fake mouth for this look, we're just going to work with what we got. So I created this really weird shape to try to replicate his uh, facial hair as best as I could. And he does have a long little beard, but we will add that at the end. I made a little DIY paper beard, so we're gonna stick that on later, but this is what we're going to work with for right now. And I know this seems a little backwards to highlight before contouring, but I am. I'm gonna highlight first. So I'm gonna take a lighter concealer and I'm gonna place this on all the areas I want to enlarge. So Jafar has a very big nose. Um, big as in like it's taller than mine and it's also wider than mine so it's just bigger in general so I am kind of using the highlight this cream highlight shade to kind of mimic the shape of his nose so we're highlighting basically this whole triangle area of my nose just to make it look bigger like his and if you look at a picture of Jafar um, you'll see that he has a very thin lip but it like kind of sticks out. I mean, he is a cartoon character, so obviously it's gonna be very animated, but his upper lip kind of sticks out a little bit. So I'm gonna use that same cream highlight that we used on our nose, and I'm placing that right on my lip in this kind of weird straight line. So that kind of gives the illusion that our upper lip is kind of popping out a little bit more. And then once I'm done with that, I'm also going to highlight my cheekbones. So this is kind of normal highlight areas but I'm going to make my cheekbones stand out a little bit more. And I'm also going to highlight my chin as well. So I'm just laying down the concealer and then I like to use my finger to blend it out. So now going in with a darker shade, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheeks. And this is going to be very dramatic and very like, very obvious. So I am just starting right below where we placed the highlight and I'm just gonna create a straight line kind of down towards my mouth. And then once we get to like about the nose, I'm just gonna go straight down and create this slope and then fill everything in closest to my ear. So that's gonna be our cheek contour for this look. I'm also gonna contour the sides of my nose like this and I am keeping it pretty wide so that we can keep the appearance of a larger nose just like Jafar. With a brown eyeshadow and a little pencil brush, I'm just going to add some detail work around the nose and really define that nose contour shape. And I'm gonna do a little happy dance because I feel like we're almost done with this look. So just looking at the face as a whole, I'm just gonna go in and see what needs some final details. So I'm gonna make two little kind of curved lines right here at the top around the eyebrows and these are just gonna be the little expression marks. So I'm gonna draw these faint lines but then go in to this little space right here and add highlights so that way it really like enhances these expressions and it really makes it look like I'm really like frowning my brows when I'm really not. I'm also taking the brown eyeshadow and I'm just creating these little shadow marks right on the edges of my mouth like this so that it just enhances that kind of pouty top lip that Jafar has. So I'm going to draw these lines and then blend them out. Okay, time to get dressed in our costume. So I have a black headband, a red t-shirt, a little kitchen towel, and then this crown I made myself out of paint and computer paper. And then of course, the little chin beard thingy, majiggy. So I'm just going to cut out that beard, put a little spirit gum on the edges, and then also add a little bit onto my chin. And just like eyelash glue, you wanna let it dry a little and get tacky before applying it. And then I'm just gonna stick it right on to the chin to my chinny chin chin. So I used black face paint to create this chin. Um, I didn't wanna use like a black marker because I, want it to, I wanted it to be the exact same shade of black. So that way it blended into my face with our like facial hair mustache a lot better. And now I'm gonna take the kitchen towel. I'm gonna place that around my neck as our little scarf. I just tied it in the back in case anyone's wondering. And then with this red t-shirt, I am just gonna wear it on my head like this and the little arms are gonna be our little, 
I don't know, the side things to the little turban that Jafar wears. And then I'm gonna place this black headband right on top to hold everything into place. I know this is such a like weird, crazy DIY that I did, but whatever works for the video, right? Lastly, I'm gonna take our little DIY paper crown and I'm just gonna use some good old Elmer's glue stick to glue that on to my headband. And that is it. It worked out so perfectly and I'm actually, I'm pretty impressed with my little crown. <laughs> and voila, there is our Jafar inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I have very Asian features and feminine features, but I tried my very best and I hope you guys enjoy the effort. So I had a lot of fun doing this. I don't know why, but like dressing up as guy characters is so much fun for me. And I just, I always have a blast doing guy makeup. I don't know. I have another one coming up, so stay tuned for that. You can go ahead and leave your guesses on who it is in the comments below. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you so, so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!